Welcome back. In the last lesson, we created our project invoices, but there's a couple more things that we need to do to finish up this experience. First, we need to create an invoice detail page so we can actually see all the details for the invoice and modify it further, edit, etc. And then we also want to create a admin experience where they can see all of their invoices as a standalone invoice listing page. So let's start with the invoice listing page and then we'll get into the invoice detail page. And lucky enough, I can show you a new feature that we haven't used yet to copy the block that we made from our last lesson for our invoice listing and bring it over to the new invoice listing page. So let's get started. In software, let's go to our pages and see if we have any invoices. And we do, we have that invoice page that we created early on, but there's nothing here yet, okay? And this invoice page, it's only gonna be seen by our admins now that we know the full experience. So let's go in and update this to invoices, settings, visibility. It's gonna be admins only, okay? Because the client can see their invoices related to the project, but they're not gonna see all invoices, okay? They're only gonna see it from the project invoice. So let's save this. And now let's go to our project invoices page. And we see this table. I'm gonna hover over the table and I'm gonna say copy to. You can copy this block to any of your apps and pick this app. And I'm gonna pick the invoices page, all right? It's been copied. Now I can go over here into my invoices page and see that I have my block right there. Now this invoice is available to everybody. So what do we need to do to make this block more uh, acceptable for this new user flow? Well, we don't need to change the source because it's already invoices, but we do need to remove this conditional filter and update it with something else, okay? So let's remove it. And now we only wanna show the invoices for the user, right? We only wanna show the invoices that belong to the logged in user or that they're a member of, right? So we go to the invoices table right here and we could say project includes any of logged in users projects right there. So now we're gonna show all of the invoices that belong to the user's projects, and that's what we want. And then we can go up here to content, we can add a title, and we could say invoices. And we're gonna make it left align, and we're gonna make it bigger here. So let's say invoices, there we go. And then let's go back to our styling and add a little bit more padding on top. So that's pretty good. And then actually now that there can be a lot of experience uh, invoices, Let's go to our content and let's add our search bar. And we want to be able to search by the invoice uh, clients or for the project. So if you type in the client name or the project name, you'll be able to see it there. And then we can also add a filter by status, meaning that we can pick which invoices we want to see per the status. And instead of having it as tags, I'm going to add it as a drop down right there to create that nice looking experience. All right. Do we want to be able to select multi-select, meaning I could select multiple statuses at a time? Sure. It's easy enough with software. So let's do that. And then otherwise, let's preview this page. Uh, but we won't really be able to get there because we didn't add it to our admin header yet. So I'm going to go find my admin header, go to home page here. And then once I'm on my home page, I can see I have my clients. I have my home header and my admin. And let's just update home header to this is just my uh, logged out user, just so we're aware. And then let's go to our admin header and let's say instead of projects now, let's do a new link and it's going to be invoices. And the action is going to be open page. And we're going to go to invoices. All right, that's great. All right, so while we're here, we can do a couple more things. We can also add another link. And while we haven't built this page yet, we can go to open page clients. There it is. And then let's see, clients, projects, invoices. Eventually, let's see if we have this page, the team page, did we create that yet? We haven't. And then we can create the dashboard page, which is the dashboard right there. And then let's bring this to the top. So a little bit more built out experience for our admin viewing for the header there. And that way we can refresh and click on invoices and bring us to the invoice page. All right, there we go. And now we click on invoices and we're on our invoices page that relate to this user's invoices. And look at that. So we have a couple of things here. We can search by project or client name. And tell you the truth, I don't know what the project names are. So let's say 
refreshing brand identity. Refreshing. There it is. All right. Or we could search by invoices that have payment sent. There we go. Or we could remove that and just add invoice, but we haven't configured that yet. All right. So let's go back, configure this add invoice on the invoice listing page. Invoices. For this add invoice functionality, it's an action button. Add invoice. And now we need to add what we're looking to add here. So let's do a drop down. We'll start with adding the project that it relates to. Right? You can pull in all the projects that belong to the user. And then we'll say invoice attachment. So it's going to be a file. It's going to be our invoice right there. It's going to be invoice. And then we'll say amount, which will be a number. And then we'll say due date, which is going to be a date picker. Invoice due date right there. Due date. And then we'll say a payment link. And that's going to be a URL. And then we'll have notes, which is also a long text. Notes, and we'll make it optional, right? Now I'm just going to update the titles and say add new invoice. And it's going to say new invoice added successfully. And when you complete this, you have an option to go to the new invoice that you just created the detail page or actually just close it or whatever. And since we don't have the invoice detail page yet, I'm just going to say close model. Now, remember, this is our admin experience. So the admin experience can add, view, edit, and delete. So let's make sure our action buttons align with that. So we go to action buttons. We have view, edit, but we don't have delete yet. So let's go over here and let's say delete record. And this can be delete invoice. Delete invoice. And the invoice has been successfully deleted. So that's great. So delete invoice is there. Let's make sure that edit record is going to be there. It is. Remember, we copied this from the other one. And then view is there as well. So that's great. And I don't like the color of the view, so I'm actually going to, let's change the color of this block here for the button, sorry. And let's go back to action button. Let's see if we can change it right here. There it is, great. So the background color, we're gonna just make it our gray because uh, that was a little bit too strong there, right? That's fine, but let's make our background color right there. All right, that's great. All right, so we have our actions, our invoice ID, our project. We don't have project in here. That's something we should add to this view. We didn't need it in the other one because it was on a project detail page and it was only one project. But for this content, we should add it in there. So let's go to add field and let's go to text and let's go to project. And we'll say project name. And then let's drag it right on up here. All right, perfect. The amount is a little bit wide now. And then we could do that. And then for project name, let's make that a little wider. Yeah, that's looking good. All right, so invoice table and listing, that's good. Why don't we head over and do our invoice detail page and then finish off this lesson, right? So let's check out our pages, see if we have an invoice detail page yet. And we do not. Okay, what does our task detail page look like? Task detail page looks pretty good. Why don't we duplicate that page and use it as a starting point. So task details, go duplicate and go to settings. We're going to say invoice details. And actually I've been lower casing everything. So I'm going to keep that lower case. Voice details. All right, that's great. Visibility should just be logged in users. Um, but you know what I'm just noticing here is that this invoice detail block it's now what we want. It's it's going to be too long and we want three columns side by side. And so I think it's going to be better if we actually switch out to a different invoice detail block and use the three column block. So I'm going to go to my details right here, list details, and it's going to be details with three columns right there. All right. And then invoices, conditional filter here, and the conditional filter is going to be the project includes any of logged in users projects. 
That way we just make sure that if this detail block is seen by someone that they have the permission to see that block, all right? And also we can go back to our content here, do invoices up here, keep it a left align, right? And then we can get rid of that image right there. And then for the invoice ID, that looks good. I like that. And then we can just start to go through and adjust all of these. And so for this, we can say text and we'll put the project there, project. And then the next one we'll say company. Client, there it is, company. And then the next one we could do status, which we'll use as a tag, invoice status. All right, and you see how it's nice, it's creating those columns for us in a nice way, that's much better. I'm just gonna style this tag the way we always style our tags in this lesson. Let's see the border color, get rid of that. Background color could be that gray, and then the text color can be that black, that's great. All right, now let's go to the next one and we'll do the amount. So this one will be text and it would be amount. Amount. And then for this one, we'll do a date. Keep that text, invoice, date. Invoice, date. And then the next one, we could do the due date. Due date. Due date right there. Due date. And then at the end of this here, we could do notes just in case there are any and we'll do notes there and that's looking nice and then we can go up here and we can actually delete this one all right and then otherwise let's do our action buttons and then we'll finish this up and we go to action and let's have the ability to download this let's have the ability to mark this payment as received let's have the ability to edit if they are a admin and the ability to delete if they're an admin, okay? So edit is already there, I believe, but it's not filled out yet. So let's go and fill out the edit. All right, and it's going to be add field. And then we need to do a couple things here. So let's allow them to change the project. So that's the fields that I'm gonna use when I'm allowing the project, the invoice to be edited project. And it's gonna be a drop down. well, yeah, we could do a, we don't need to switch the company because it's always going to be related to the company, but we can do a drop down for the status. In that case too, it could always, it should always be related to the project too. You're not going to switch the project that it's for, just like you wouldn't switch the company that it's for. So let's actually, let's just get rid of this one. We don't need this one. And then we'll go with the amount. And this will be a number amount and this will be a date for the invoice date invoice date and then we'll add a due date due date and then we'll add notes and keep that optional and then let's do the payment link as well if they need to adjust that row payment link all right you know we're actually not showing this payment link but that's okay because this is the admin view mm -hmm. Now, I think we should show this payment link too, because this is going to be the client and admin view can see this. Just admin will have more functionality. So let's go back to our content and add a URL field, and that will be the payment link right there. Payment link. Fantastic. Great. All right, so we have our action for edit. That should be good. Now let's add another button for delete be delete invoice it'd be in the rec the invoice has been deleted okay and again this button is only going to be visible for admins and edit is only going to be visible for admins all right now let's add a download button and download can be visible for both people we're going to download the actual file so that's going to be the invoice i'm going to say invoice downloaded and let's make this one of the main actions up here. So it's going to be download. And then the secondary action, let's make it as mark as received. So what we can do is we can use a new one here called one click update, right? And for this update, we're going to say mark payment sense. Payment sense. 
all right? And what we're going to do here is we're going to update the status of this invoice. We're going to replace the existing value and it's going to be updated with this custom value. And it's going to be payment sent. And again, this needs to be exactly like it is in the database. So I'm going to say payment sent right there. And that is right there. Now we're going to, with this one click button, it's going to update the value of the database. And I do want to make this as our secondary up there. So download mark payment sent a little bit. All right. So we have our download functionality, our payment sent functionality, and the payment sent functionality should be able to be seen by maybe just clients. All right. Download can be seen by everybody. Edit, just admin, delete, just admin. Now, if you wanted to add a comment block here, you could for detail or commenting on the invoices, but I think that's okay. So let's now tie this into the invoice detail experience to finish this off. And then we'll get on to the next lesson. So we go to product invoices and then we'll allow them when they click on the view, click view, open detail page, invoice details. That's great. And then also when we go to the invoice or the project detail page, let's see, do we need to do anything here? I don't think we do because when we click on invoices, it's going to bring us to the invoice detail page. That's fine. Actually, we got to go to the invoice listing page. And then when we click on view here, that's what we need to change. Now this needs to go to open detail page and it's going to go to open details. And we have the invoice listing now. We have the invoice detail now. And when I click on invoices, I can go to my detail page and I can choose to download, edit, or delete it. Oh man, we're cruising. We're cruising. Projects, invoices. We need to do the client and the dashboard page, but we're so close. We're getting there. Keep your head up and I'll see you in the next lesson.